Hello and welcome back to my holiday series. Today is July 24th and it is Amelia Earhart Day. Well, I have always been fascinated with Amelia Earhart and her whole story, um, including the tragic disappearance slash death, um, that they still really don't know what exactly happened. Um, so I looked up some other fun facts about her. Woo! Okay, so she was born on July 24th, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas. Did not realize she was from Kansas. So that was interesting. Uh, she disappeared June 2nd, 1937 while attempting to be the first woman to circumnavigate the world. And she was declared dead in Ascentia in, or on January 5th, 1939. So basically in absence of finding her body or anything like that they declared her dead on that day don't know when she actually died though um but other things that she did in her life which were interesting is she was the first woman to fly solo across the atlantic ocean on june 17th 1928 uh she wrote best-selling books um on her about her experiences flying uh, she helped form the 99s, an organization for female pilots. Uh, she became involved in promoting things, you know, products and things like that, but especially uh, women's active living fashion lines uh, that were sold in Macy's, because Macy's been around forever as well. Um, her, fa her concept of fashion in AE, Amelia Earhart, uh, was simple with natural lines matched with wrinkle proof washable materials that were the embodiment of a sleek, of a sleek and purposeful, sleek, but purposeful feminine, but feminine. It's a weird sentence. I wrote it very weird. Basically sleek lines, but still being professional, but still being feminine for obviously she was a girl um <laughs> in 1935 Earhart became a visiting faculty member of Purdue University as an advisor in aeronautical engineering and a career counselor to female students awesome <laughs> go girls <laughs> right especially at that point I mean in 1935 like I mean, women were pretty much still expected to be housewives you know so the fact that she was able to not only be a advisor herself but advise other female students and being pilot and being an aeronautical that's that's just awesome everything about her is awesome really I mean I love Amelia Earhart I think she's really cool um so she and her navigator Edward Noonan disappeared near Howland Island in the Central Pacific Ocean it's speculated that they ran out of gas due to all of these um communications that they do have uh, between Howland Island and her uh, and her navigator. Um, they guesstimated the amount of fuel that they had and at, at one of the last points that they were able to actually reach her, it's, she said that she only had about a half hour left of fuel. So it would not have brought her to her next destination, unfortunately. Um, but her airplane was never found, nor were her or Edward's bodies. And, uh, two other little small factoids. Uh, she has a minor planet and a newly discovered lunar crater named after her. That's pretty awesome. And she is ranked ninth on the flyings list of the 51 heroes of aviation. So not only is she a breakout pilot she's a breakout female pilot um of the times but yet she still had her own fashion line so she was still very feminine um but was not content to just be a housewife or just be you know a woman whatever she wanted to do more and she did she really did she did do a lot of things um that she got that were successful um just the Obviously, the last flight she took was not, unfortunately. Um, of course, there's conspiracy theories and all that around it. Um, I don't know how much I believe about it, but, you know, it's out there if you would like to read about it. Um, so, enjoy Amelia Earhart Day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!